public hearing. Six item on the agenda of the financial report. Second. Got a motion and a second to approve the financial report. Is there any discussion? Not all those in favor signify by raising your right hand. Thank you. Thank you. The seventh item on the agenda is setting up the millage rate and approval of the 2019 budget. We approve the uh, the budget. That's second. We're setting the millage rate to approve the 2019 budget. Okay. I believe there's some specific numbers. If you could uh, get those in the recording. Okay. The uh, <coughs> motion to adopt the 2018 tax select resolution setting the unincorporated millage rate at seven point. 856 mills at the incorporated millage rate at and the incorporated <coughs> millage rate at 9.651 mills to collect three million five thousand one hundred and ninety six dollars needed for in property taxes yeah, I, got a motion. I move that we accept that we got a motion to have a second, second. we got a motion and a second to the discussion No discussion. All those in favor signify by raising the right hand. All those opposed? Number eight is the uh, item number eight is the approval of the Mills Race of Oak Forest County Board of Education. Yeah, that much was an increase with that in the school. It's actually a slight decrease. For the bond and, and for the uh, in the And I don't know what John, do you recall what that, that decrease was? The uh, bond last year was 2.982, and I think the uh, MO was 18.889. <coughs> uh, it was a fraction, a small fraction of the mill higher. I don't remember exactly what it was. I hope you can accept in the 2018 millage rate is approved by the Board of Education, setting the maintenance and operation millage rate at. 18.884 mills and additional 2.980 mills for school bond obligation. Second. We got a motion and a second. Is there discussion? Not all those in favor signify by raising right hand. Thank you. That concludes the agenda with the exception of the public comment session. It's three minutes per participation. Can be per, per, per participant. No discussion from the board. Mr. Chairman, can we get the budget specifically? We got the mill rate, okay, tax resolution, but let's get that budget. Of, uh, so this number, the second item over there. Yep. Yeah, it's two parts of that. Not, not sorry about that. Yeah, Andy actually did. Oh, he did do the budget. Okay. Huh. The first one and the second one should have been included. Let me see what you got. As long as your intent was to approve that budget as well as the mill rate, then we're set. Really? You, you did 
didn't want him to and invade him, didn't I? Yeah, it's, it's done. Okay, that concludes the agenda. Uh, again, the public comment session is next. Uh, three minutes per participant and no discussion from the board. Mr. Chairman, before we uh, start, it, it's evident um, that these people are down here in order to support um, our sheriff's request for increased money. Um, I'd like to find a way that we can do it. Um, Tracy's given us some options. Um, you know, I'd like to find a, a, a place that we can make that uh, happen. And, you know, so I don't know how that needs to come. I know we set the, uh, the, the budget, uh, but if we can as has been said, they wanted, many people wanted to just go ahead and donate the $15,000. Yeah. That's what he's asking for an increase. Um, is there a place that we can find $15,000 increase David Gabriel's budget so that he would be able to accomplish the goal that he has set? Yeah, I think there's plenty of places you can just try to find it, uh, David. And in fact, we discussed a lot of them and, and going forward in anticipation of increased revenue. I mean, that, that, that would probably have to win down at the end of the year, but, uh, and you can amend that budget at any time. You, you do realize that. I mean, like everybody here realizes that. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it doesn't have to be done between now and the end of the year. In fact, it doesn't even have to be done at the beginning of the year. It could be done any time during the process of the year. In fact, we can change it too. Okay, as well. If that being said, then we can we can uh, amend that, or we could possibly work out a, a, a system. If, if you would be willing to work toward a bonus system for the uh, the, the deputies for the Oklahoma County Sheriff's Department. Well, yeah, you got any specifics? Well, at least that fifteen thousand dollars would be better. I don't mind you mentioned a bonus. What, what do you? Well, uh, you know, that, that to me is just something that I feel like we can do. We, we, he is saying they did an excellent job of uh, sharing with us some of the income that was going to be. And if, if that's the case, if we have the money in um, in an increase, then let, let's go on record to say we're going to be willing to give that. You know, as a, uh, if it's at the end of the year or whatever. But, but the opportunity certainly exists going forward to change that. Yeah. I mean, you really can't change it. Anything, you yeah. could change it tonight. I told you guys, four, oops, go, excuse me. Yeah. Uh, I told you four weeks ago when we had the budget here, the number we left there with, we, we needed to ride that out. Sure. You know, but, but it can be amended. I mean, this, this clearly can be amended. It can't be amended tonight, but it can be amended. I agree with David that we ought, ought to be able to come up with that money. We'll put you on the spot and have you find it. <laughs> you mean even more? Public <laughs> <laughs> comment session. for bringing this up. We've, we've been worried because we know that y'all voted on the 2% across the board. So I appreciate that you've taken another look at it. So I want to thank David Clark and George Gabriel for that. That's my public comment. I think it needs to be active. discussion on the board to understand this what we're voting on tonight takes place starting January 1, 2019. Next. Christine Worsley, Stevens, Georgia. Um, if it can be amended, then why can't it be amended tonight? Because if it is amended, then we will have to go back through this process. 
we'll have to have another public hearing. If it goes up, if it go down, you can get side tonight if it goes down, and mm -hmm. you can get away with that. But right. when the Department of Revenue shows up here Monday, uh, Wednesday morning, and this, that number goes up from what, what's been published in the paper, you got to go back through this process. It's not just a matter of going back through the process, but you're also going to have to postpone putting out. I mean, when you delay that process, you're going to postpone bills going out, uh, tax bills. I mean, you could do it. I mean, they could do it. They could decide to do it. Okay. But, but it has to be approved through the whole process, and, and it's not <coughs> over tonight. You go through the Department of Revenue after this, and they say whether it's kosher or whether it isn't kosher. And I can tell you that if it goes up, and the number that was published yeah. was discussed four weeks ago, five weeks ago, it goes up, uh, it's beyond that. They will reject it, and we will go back to this process. Okay. I believe that a lot has transpired um, throughout the community. I find it interesting that the meeting was on the first day back to school when a lot of parents have tired kids, you have tired teachers, tired parents trying to do homework. I don't know why it was tonight, but it's inter you know, maybe it just fell on the calendar today. So it's a hard for a lot of people to get out here. A lot has transpired in the last four weeks from when you originally had your number meeting, and if it can be amended, and we have to go back through this process. I understand that we're all busy, but we're also paid to represent, you guys are also paid to represent all of Oklahoma County. And I don't know if it's true or not that you, somebody said somewhere, you know, whatever, take it for what it's worth, that they haven't heard from Oglethorpe citizens that they want it, and I think I, I beg to differ. Um, maybe somebody in the room can strike a check for 15K, to give them, the, and that's all they're asked for. That's their compromise. Where is Oglethorpe compromising? Maybe that 2% was your compromise. They are compromising. And I think that we need to compromise. And you have a lot of citizens out there that couldn't get to this meeting tonight, but I implore you that if you want to represent the citizens of Oglethorpe and their safety, then you need to go back through this process again and amend it until they can get what is warranted to them. Next. win situation for all of you really because it's gonna make a lot of people mad and a few happy but my question is do y'all foresee y'all re sitting down and going back over these numbers and you, you think that it might happen before january 1 billy i mean y'all do you think that the raise might happen because you know i i hadn't kept up with a, a lot of this over the years until the last two or three years and i, I got a lot of information from other counties the last two or three months. And, you know, and I, I just, the deputies here, you know, they just, they just so underpaid. Uh, you know, they, they you talk about overtime and this, that, and other. Well, they can't get the overtime because of the budget. They can't get enough deputies, so it has to work overtime. So it's one fighting against the other one. And I just wonder if y'all might think that y'all going to, uh, look at this again before January 1 for it. That's when it actually goes in effect, correct? Yes. And my question is to all you guys, y'all think there's something besides the two here that might look at that and go back over the numbers again? Andy, what about you? Well, we're always open to everything. And I understand you can't make decisions tonight. I understand, you know, you got to go through the right procedure to do it. I understand that, but I just, you know, I just wanted to uh, let you know that I appreciate each and every one of you for what you do, but it would really, really help, I think, the community, make our schools safer and everybody safer in the county if we could get deputies here that we could depend on that knew what they was doing, and that means pay more money. Thank you. Yes. Uh, I was just wondering, is there some mechanism where the citizens of the county could give you some direction in this way of a referendum or some way that you could get a clear signal as to how people feel, whether they be willing to pony up for the extra money. That's just a question. Yeah, I know sort of bro protocol, but really this is public comment, not not really dialogue. Okay. Next. Uh, Tom. 
comic orders from Crawford. Uh, basically, I want to say, I'm sure everybody appreciates the 2% raise, but I also want to say, how many good people with the county go out there and put their lives on the line every day? 2% is not much for that. They need more. I don't know the number, but 2% is not where they need to be. They need more. That's all I really have to say about it. How y'all doing? I'm Tommy Epps. I live at 1095 Part B Road. Um, just had a question. I'm running late in a plumbing emergency. I got a question. If you got the 2%, where did y'all all come up with the 2%? You asked a question last time in another meeting. We may not can bring it up, but you asked us where can we get it from as the board to give them the raise that they need. I'm asking you as a board, where did you come up with the 2%? find two percent where did that come from did you throw a number out where did you get the figures from to give them the two percent across the board well again this is breaking protocol but, but there was tons of options out there there was no one one thing suggested uh, that was just what that board over an hour and a half period of time with the sheriff president Tom, uh, that was the number that they came up with two percent is, is to keep the milling rate from, from going up increase the tax and that, that's what the maximum could be and also you know cover the 4.7 percent in in salaries that was the addition of health insurance and to cover the thirty eight thousand dollars for the increase in, in uh, volunteer fire departments and the other 17.5 to yep. increase for fire departments and um, everything else that that was uh, you know decided need to be increased without raising taxes I mean, I think that's what it drilled down to. I, I believe you guys correct me if you're wrong. If I'm wrong, but uh, you know, I, I think at the end of the discussion, that's what that's how it worked out. So, so y'all all had a, a place to come from to get the two percent. So, was there anywhere we could have got any more in that? I mean, this place is in the existing budget. In his existing budget, you could get it. I mean, there's, there's okay. places. So the surplus that he brings in. And, he, and the question I asked wasn't. You know where where are we going to get from? Where, where would you suggest we get it from? Again, we could we could have took it back from the, the money that they had suggested we increase the uh, fire departments. That that could have been an option, probably not a popular option, but, but it could have been there. Like, it okay. could have been from taxation. I mean, there's there's a lot of them, a lot of choices. But but again, that that decision to sit here and, and, and knock around for an hour and a half, two hours. I believe you recorded that too, didn't you, Diane? Certainly encourage you to go back and look at it. Yeah, and then, you, then you could uh, then you could figure it out. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of options. Just which one's well, popular to you? Just the, you and everybody else. You know the bad guys aren't going to quit. It's coming. And like I said in the other one, you're going to have to put cyber crime people on that it's going to be somebody's working computer. Identity theft's coming. It's going to still come. So start now if you can. Hire we as a community have to come together. I've been in Winterville two years now, but I'm from Athens. Uh, my family background, Donnie Hips is my daddy. Tommy Huff was my great uncle. So I've, I've got pictures where they was up here on the courthouse steps with a deer taking a picture with Slim Pickens. I've been here as a kid the whole time. We're in 2018, we're not back in the old days. We need to find some money for the fire and we need to find some money for the police. And if we can start, we all can come together. He said, have somebody in law enforcement you know spoke to you a little bit about it but that's just you know, let's put the big boy pants on let's go to work let's figure it out i'm sure we can shake each other's hand at the end of the day and make a deal anything y'all need to ask me <laughs> 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 Anybody else? Not on anything to look at the journal? So moved. Second. All those paper right.
Yeah. That's it, you guys. And uh, Jennifer Tiller oh, yeah, uh, recorded the um, rezoning part of this meeting, and I'll put it online as soon as I can. It won't be tonight, but maybe one day this week. Thank y'all for watching. I'm going to leave this live in case anybody wants to say anything. No. People watching you right now, all 9,000. I'm kidding. Well, I'm happy that David and George brought up about finding that money for the increase. Yeah. Hey, Glenn, this is Lou. Tell me your last name. Hey, I'm Lou. That's it, y'all.